Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today we have an easy job here. We have an Acer laptop. The model is ES1-132-C97. Four. It's 11.6 inch model. It's a netbook that suffered a small accident. The screen is cracked and we need to replace it. Okay, without further ado, let's get to it. First of all, remember safety first. Never work on a laptop with a power supply connected or with a battery connected. So all you have to do now is unscrew this one, two, three, four, five, six screws and take out the battery. Remember, always check if the screws are the same length and thickness because on some product, uh, producers uh, they have different lengths, different thickness and if you put it a uh, wrong uh, screw in the wrong hole you're gonna end up damaging the case. In, uh, in this case right now they're all the same, we can put them all together in one spot so we do not lose them. And let's take this cover out. Oh surprise surprise the battery is not here. We have the DDR and we have a place for a hard drive, but without the cable that is needed for plugging the, the hard drive. Okay, my mistake. So the battery is inside. Not good. I have to open all of it to unplug the battery and to be sure I will not uh, burn this laptop. Let's do it. All screws are the same also. So we're gonna put them in one place. Okay, let's open the laptop. We're gonna need this prying tool to do that. So we have to insert this prying tool here and gently move it to the side. Okay, that's it. This is the back cover. As you can see. Okay, since I'm, I'm here, let me show you what it's inside. One, two speakers. This is the battery. This is the battery connector. So all you have to do is push it out to be on the safe side. This is the DDR. This is the Wi Fi card. And here is the fanless CPU here. This is the BIOS battery. This is the SD card, the jack, the USB, the HDMI, and another two USB drives. This is the 3.0. This is the LAN driver. Okay, and this is the power jack. Let me check this if these are screwed correctly. Yes, they are. Okay, now since I'm uh, uh, disconnected the battery, now I can work on the LCD. So I have to open this. And again, with the prying tool, I'm gonna insert it in here and do it like this. This is the front cover. 
Okay, the LCD is uh, held by four screws. One, two, three, four. I have to gently take them out. And as you can see, they are small. So I'm gonna put them in another place. Okay, now that the screws are off, we gently take the broken screen down and here is the ribbon cable for the LCD. This is the 30 pin cable, so it's very important as you take the battery out because on this ribbon you have 19 volts, 3.3 uh, and if you don't take the battery out and you're not very careful when you put this uh, ribbon back in you, you manage you will manage to send the 19 volts rail on the 3.3 and hopefully you will get a fuse blown and in the worst case scenario no more picture okay this is the webcam these are the wi-fi antennas one and two these are the cables the white one and the black one here Okay, let's take the bed screen out and replace it with the new one. All we have to do is first there is a, a adhesive tape here that we have to take it out first and after that we can replace the screen. Okay, this is the part where you have to be very careful not to broke it. So gently take this out. Okay, this is the old screen. And now we're gonna put a new one okay let's take the new one this is a protective film here that I'm gonna take it out after I'm sure that we have picture on the screen because if not we have to send it back to warranty so again you have to be very carefully when you put the ribbon back so you will not damage any pins okay and put this back here okay perfect beautiful now we're gonna put the LCD back on his place and put the four screws and we're gonna make a little test and see if we're gonna have picture or not you have to put the ribbon back in his place Okay, let's have a short test. I'm gonna put the bat battery back. You know what? No. Let's do this differently. Let's take the charger. Yes, we have Acer. Okay, now that I know that is working, I can peel this off and put the cover back in.
Okay, you have to be sure that they're aligned here. Now carefully close it. Put back the battery, the battery. Let's put back the back cover. You have to put it first on this side because of the of the jack of the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So you have to put it like this and go like this. Make sure that all is good. All is aligned. Good. Perfect. All I have to do now is now is to put all the screws back. Okay, at the end, we put all the screws. All we have to do now is take another test. As you can see, we have picture. Well guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video if you do you know what to do share this video like subscribe if you want to help me grow my channel uh, leave a comment down below and until next time have a nice day